Hello and welcome to another episode of Novice Kibitzing. We're we're looking at Hikaru Nakamura again. This time he's playing GM Vav Coach. So Hikaru Nakamura has one point so far, and uh, they're playing, I believe, three zero time control. Yes, three zero rated. I'm surprised there's no um, struggle over this D file at the moment. Okay, so Black is looking to put pressure on this C3 pawn. White doesn't seem to be too worried about it at the moment. Okay. So, what's happening here? I mean, right. I was going to say perhaps the knight was going to e6, but I actually figured black would try and trade the knights off, but I guess trading the bishop off was a little bit quicker. Okay. So white is down material here, and black has pretty strong looking past pawn. I'm not sure that okay so white was just threatening to win the pawn here it looks like white wants to attack this pawn again or no okay disconnect this rook I see so now white is still threatening this capture to win the pawn back okay Black gives up the exchange in order to keep this e3 pawn. Ah. Mm. Okay. Well, can white take here, or is this dangerous? interesting now there's a okay well check yeah looks like that was missed that was close it looked like Hikaru was on the ropes for a moment So it looks like some type of Dutch system, I believe, with this f5, bishop g7 type of setup, knight f6. I mean, with this A-pawn, Naka has a little bit of pressure, but he doesn't really have his pieces coordinated quite yet, so. Okay, he's, he's working on completing his development here. Wondering if striking with E4 for white is appropriate, but I'm not too sure about that. I think taken with the knight, so you're unleashing this bishop. Wow. 
Interesting. Not sure about trading that off. Because now now Black's bishop potentially has um pressure on white's light squares. Right. So like I said. Whoops, sorry about that. It's potential uh pressure on on white here. Yes, this is this is not looking great. But looks like White's king is still able to escape, so it's not decisive yet. Interesting. This does black how does black make progress here I was thinking something along these lines but maybe I'm just incorrect here the point being after the queen moves um, the king is cut off of the d-file this has to be right because then the knight is undefended right or maybe maybe white has a move I'm not seeing. Uh, knight d6, reinforced by c5. So that's that's not good. Okay. Is this the idea? Right. To, to potentially hit this pawn, but maybe also to swing the rook over. Oh, I'm not so sure about letting this happen. Yeah, I'm not so sure about that at all. And this, this doesn't look so great for black here. Ah, except for the time. The time is an issue. Okay. Now there's been a bunch of clarification and uh and black is of course fine here. If not uh if not equal. No. Yeah, it's it's probably about equal. White is up a pawn, but it's doubled, so not much happening there. Looks like Hikaru is going for the time burn. Um, uh, then he has the queen. I see. Wow. Yeah, he went for the time burn at the end there. But I mean, before before um, that, he could have just queened his pawn and. Oh wait, actually maybe not because. Because uh, White's king was pretty close to helping the other pawn queen, so.
So is white going to plant his knight on d6, or is he going to... Okay. So right now, threatening c7. Um... Okay, a little bit of clarification here. After castles, um, after castles kingside, white may be trying to get um, f5 in, if possible. Like maybe knight, knight h4 or... No, you can't play knight h4 now because queen is putting pressure on d4. So maybe like bishop somewhere or hmm. queen trade declined and also giving up a pawn is this poison potentially well we're giving up two pawns actually but now the f5 idea is coming into play White not taking the bishop because after rook c2 recaptures and something along the lines of queen b2, there's a lot of pressure on white's second rank. I think Black's king looks tactically sensitive here. Uh with these with the rook and queen potentially swinging over. Um check does check do anything? Not really. Okay, so Nakamura just going with uh trying to get some material back here. He's still down a pawn. Okay, now he's got it back. Didn't E2 just win this pawn? After rook E1? Oh, no. no because then he would just recapture. Okay. Hmm. So what happens, what, yes, what happens after this, and then this? Well, black is up a pawn, but his, his e5 pawn is kind of holding back uh, black's f pawn here. So maybe black, okay. Yes, this this may be a draw.
Now I'd say black is pretty much just winning, but down on time. <laughs> yeah, black is definitely winning just down on time. <laughs> okay, Hikaru with the time burn. <laughs> My thoughts on time burn are it's part of bullet. It's part of any low time control, bullet blitz, anything. Um, you know, if you're not managing your time well, that's that's a factor. So, a lot of people don't like it for some reason. I mean, Hikaru didn't like it when when it happened to him uh, a little while ago, a few minutes ago. But it happens. It's just part of the game. Okay, so so black offering up one of his pieces to compromise white's king safety. Um, notice white has no pawns to protect his king. Um, we'll see if it's enough. I'm not sure it's uh, theoretically enough, but... With low time control, I'm sure it's it's worth um, looking into. Is this is this pawn available or? I did not understand the tactic there. Rook takes. Is there something I'm missing? Rook takes. Rook. Rook takes. Rook takes. Ah, queen takes b7. Someone said that in the chat. And now the knight was pinned. Interesting. So just normal development here. Nice maneuver. Put pressure on the knight with queen e4 and then swing the knight to, uh, sorry, swing the queen h4 to put pressure on uh, h7 here. I 
think yeah h7 looks pretty sensitive here but perhaps perhaps this this is the best because this knight is a, a crucial defender of h7 if he can remove the knight he can basically do whatever oh it's attacking the queen first interesting I mean, I'm not understanding why not uh, knight g5 hmm yeah I'm not really sure So, white is just down material, but he is the one who has a little bit of something. <laughs> it, it looks almost done, though. <laughs> um, his activity looks almost gone. Is this this hang? Oh, okay. Oh, no, because the bishop. Okay. Is the, is, sorry, is g4 a threat here? Or... Interesting move. Hmm. Oh, that was threatening mate, by the way. So if queen b5, what is the idea? Ah, I see. Yeah, it looks it looks like um Hikaru is really just barely holding things together here. Wow, with the idea rook takes knight takes check, uh forking the king and queen. Impressive. Hikaru going for the time burn. <laughs> Time burn is going to happen. Oh, free rook. <laughs> oh, this is resignable for black anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Carl with mostly pawn moves, so he's just trying to gain space, hasn't really committed to any specific course of action with his pieces so so what's the threat here b5 or is there any threat here I guess that's another question
Yeah, it's probably B5 and A4. Okay, now the threat is, is clear. It's taking. Bishop hanging. This is a uh, sound here for uh, white. Right, it looked it looked pretty sketchy. So it looks like black is trying to develop some sort of king attack here, kingside attack. But is this knight coming into the fight soon or or what? Not quite. Right, I was just going to say it seems like Trading these bishops off would be kind of good. <laughs> I'm not really sure what white's pieces are doing. Okay, now this piece is getting into the defense. Also hitting the bishop. Um, hmm. Knight has to go back somewhere because can't go here, here. Okay, this square highlight is <laughs> not consistent, but you guys get the point. The knight couldn't go forward. White just closing up the position a little bit around his king and uh, black looking to open it with probably h4 relatively soon after responding to the immediate threats wait no 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 not quite oh yeah maybe h4 then then g3 maybe an idea But Black's, Black's position is looking uh, potentially loose here. Wow. 
Wait a second. No, not quite. It doesn't work. It's going to say bishop d4, but no, then just rook takes. So rook takes first, and then what? Ah, maybe, maybe queen e3? Uh, hitting the queen with tempo first. It's interesting. Yeah, queen e3 looks problematic, but... Yeah, here we go. I liked bishop takes, but maybe it's not quite the way to go. This may be a draw. No, white's playing for more. Black wasn't able to make it happen there. Funnily enough, uh, there's there have been a few instances where I thought the car wasn't better. Not last game, but just throughout this match. Yeah, there's been no losses on his end. Hope you guys are enjoying this uh, coverage here, and you can always join chess.com if you're not a member already, and uh, watch this yourself, participate in the chat, that type of fun stuff. And just take or something else. Yep, there's always this check, so it's not uh there there weren't any tactics there. Okay, so black may potentially want to trade bishops off. Okay. I think the point here is um Okay, well this The point was, you know, save bishop takes, which I think is a mistake then. Rook recaptures, and you can pile up pressure on the f2 pawn. But maybe there's still some pressure here because g4 has been played. So neither of these pawns can move without um, without uh, a potential recapture by black. So of course, white's knight is now defending f3, the f3 square, but. As we, you can see, black is kind of just chipping away at this structure here. Mm. Oh, this is this is uh, this is risky. I'm not so sure about this one. Wow. Uh, and then there's this check here as well. Well, wow. this is this is pretty crazy. With 
even material. Okay, now, now, um, now black is losing. I mean, black is down material, um, not necessarily losing. But I mean, look at the time. It's clear time advantage. I don't know. I, I think there should be plenty of time for. Uh, actually, this is this is most likely. Hmm, this is a draw. I think I'm pretty sure. Hmm, I don't know. I don't know. I think with best play, it's a draw, but. Because this bishop is here to stop this pawn. And then that leaves just a rook versus rook, so. Now white just needs to move his rook somewhere and it's fine. Yeah. Yeah, Hikaru is going for the time burn here for sure. And I'm not, I don't know if it's because he got time burned earlier or um, by Bori Boy or if it's, I don't know. <laughs> so. White could have just captured the rook there and it would have been a draw. Looks like there's a little bit of lag on um five coaches end because when he moves sometimes his time goes up. As long as Hikaru can keep his rook on the board, um, he'll win. was painful to watch. Okay, um, I think stopping here at 10 is good. It's a good time to stop. We got a French. Hopefully, we get some fireworks here. I'm not really too sure about the French position, but positions, but seems as though White's pawn structure is fairly solid here, and uh, I'm not really sure how Black makes progress. 
Seems like black is kind of just on the defensive right now. Yeah, white's enjoying a space advantage. Uh, pretty nice, healthy pawn structure where the king is kind of defending this anchor pawn here. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm not really sure. That being said, um, even with the space advantage, I don't think uh, I don't think this is like lost or anything for black. It just seems more comfortable. White's position seems more comfortable. Like, okay, obviously the knight is coming here. Um, actually, the knight. Well, yeah, it's it's okay. This works as well. Yeah, it looks like White is going to be able to infiltrate if he captures with his queen. If he takes and then recaptures with queen, or or what? Okay, he, he gets his queen to e5 anyway. Knight, knight c5 or something else? Let's give him black a little tickle here to see uh, where he wants to place his piece. Yes. So both these pawns are hanging. Black defending his G pawn. This pawn is still. Okay. Okay. All right, hope you enjoyed that 10 game session or I think I actually jumped in around game 2. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Catch you next time.